Morning, fellas. Morning. Morning. Good morning. I decided, man, I was going to show, video this, thinking it might help somebody. <clears throat> uh, that's dealing with your radio link, man. Of course, we all know that the radio link on the te telemetry uh, deal, you know, that keeps up with your battery voltage. It comes only on a XT60, man. But let me tell you, man, you don't have to use that. Of course, I wouldn't use it anyway. It, it would probably be okay on these little wires and on this little ESC, you know. But I, I'm just going. I'm just going to go ahead and set it up. Uh, I, just, I clip these, man. You clip that wire up off of there, cause that's all you need, and it will work on any ESC. Actually, you don't even have to have use the ground. You don't have to use the ground. But anyway, this is what I did. You know, for the sake of time, I clip, I clip this off of this XT60. And what I'm gonna do, I cut out a little spot on my positive wire on the ESC. Yeah, I know we hate to have some wire showing, but I, I normally drop some hot glue over it. You know, I try to cut it to where it, I know it's nothing gonna touch that. Cause you know, I just hate to have a hot wire, you know, naked like that, but it's nothing gonna touch it. Uh, but anyway, I put uh, I put hot glue over it anyway. But that's that's all you got to do, man, on this. Now, this is the way I set mine up. Because I, I said I, I, I started to take this box, I started to take it off. But I'm like, no, nah, it might come in handy. So I'm going to just leave it on. So I drill me some holes. And I drill the one hole so I can access the mode. The mode button on the side. This is a radio link. R7FG. G is for gyro. So that's what operates your gyro. So the one hole, the one hole is going to be used for that. Yeah, for being able to uh, access that on the side. Cause, like I said before, man, you gotta, you gotta uh, glue that thing down, man. Yeah, you gotta make sure you can't can't use no. Can't use no uh, Velcro or whatever you call that stuff. You know, that's why I messed up at before. Cause it's got to be doing, this thing got to be doing exactly what your car is doing. And that Velcro, that little uh, Velcro shit, it'll, it'll allow it to be a little loose. It's a little loose. No, you need some 3M tape or you can hot glue it down. Like I say, hot glue is your friend, man. I love, I do a lot with hot glue cause it's permanent enough to keep whatever you need down where it need to be at, but it's not so permanent that you can't take it up. It'll take some, it'll take some doing to get it up, but it's not permanent. Yep. So I drilled one hole <clears throat> for this antenna to come out cause this is the one I always stick out through my body. This is the one that I put in the front and I normally put mine I run it through there because it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna affect none of your steering. I run it through there and I I clamp it around this post with it sticking up. That's what I'm gonna do. This one new, so it ain't. But I have it around this post and it'll be sticking up like that when you put your car on it. It's gonna push it down a little bit. But that way I have one in the front and I have one sticking up through my body. All the little plastic straws and stuff people be putting on there, that's that's not necessary. Cause if you wreck, you're gonna break it in a way. And it, it, you you stand a greater chance of pulling your wire out with it. I leave my wire hanging. I don't want it hanging to a point where it's <clears throat> affecting anything or able to reach the tire or touch the ground, but I leave it hanging and it worked real fine. But yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, let me get some water on my sponge, guy. Uh, it. <clears throat> so I got my gun already ready. But yeah, that's the way I'm setting up my receiver, man. I'm gonna put the top back on it. I don't care nothing about body being waterproof and all that stuff, cause I won't be running in no rain. So I'm just gonna tin that. You you ain't gotta do nothing. Just tack it. Just touch it on there. That's all you got to do. You just touch it on there, man. It's going to do what it, 
it's gonna do what it do. I always just tin a little bit on. Get that tin a little bit, man. Get a little bit on there, that's all you need. Yeah, that's all you need right there. Then I tin, tin this wire. Like I say, guys, you don't you don't have to put the ground on. You want to put it on, man? You can. Hey, do what you do, but you don't have to have the ground for real. You always try to run it to where where it's not in the way of nothing. Yeah, it don't it don't take much to get it get it on there. See, do I want to run it through there? Why not? Since it's a, uh, a little zip tie on there already. <coughs> Take me some tweezers so I can hold it. Cause that little wire I get hot as shit. That's it right there, fellas. That's all you gotta do. Mm-hmm. Now your your receiver is gonna tell you how much power in your batteries. And of course, now I clipped that black wire out of the way, but just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna plug it up. Cause I'm just taking this stuff loose, so. One to turn, two to burn. Make sure I got this right yellow there. So this one will go right here. I'm assuming that's my steering. Let me make sure that my steering, yeah. Cause those ESC wires are funny, they're a funny color. Plus you got that one auxiliary wire. So yeah, this is the ESC wire. So just for the sake of time in this video, man, I just wanna turn it on. <coughs> gonna plug this up and then it's gonna tell me how, how many volts in my battery then of course you know you can set your uh, alarm in your control that you know when it gets so low and all that good stuff okay forgot about that let me let me trim that off side man I forgot those come with that. You'll have to trim that, trim that little bit off the side. Normally it wouldn't bother none, but it's affecting, it's affecting my telemetry wire. It's hanging over in its spot. I'm gonna try not to cut my finger off on a video, man. Guess it's time to change my razors, I believe. I don't recommend trimming nothing on your car, man. You don't want to get stuff down inside or nothing where it don't supposed to be. But I'm doing it because I'll, I'll blow my car off with the compressor before I do anything. <clears throat> now I got that out of the way, man. I can plug this up now. Now, when I turn it on, I should get, I should get my voltage. This one might be different, guys. Yeah, it might be different. I might have to, I might have to plug the, uh, I might have to ground this one on my, on my, uh, on my other speed run car, man. I don't have to ground that. Yep. So I might have to ground this one. So we'll do that. Yeah, made made a liar out of me then. But yeah, on my on my other AK, it's not grounded. But this this way, that's all you gotta do, man. Just trim trim back a little bit. Try not to cut your wire, your wire, man. It's it's possible. You can do it. 
Yeah, it's possible. You can feel that wire. When you feel that wire, man, like now, I, I just cut a strand. Yeah. Hate doing that, man. Yeah, I hate doing that. Don't want to cut none of your wire. Not, not even a strand, man. Yeah, I cut a little, cut a little piece of my wire strand on these. The wire, they don't have to be long. So there's something going on with my... What is going on with it? The limit is not working. Maybe I need to turn it back off. Oh, shoot, guys. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I haven't bind it. Yeah, I haven't bound this. And like, it's got to be bound. I forgot how you bind these. Let me see. Can I figure it out? Yeah, made me cut my wire for nothing. Yeah, I got to bind this. I think I mash it. Uh... Press the binding button three times. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it made me cut my wire for nothing, man. Let's see, can I get in there? Looking for that green, man. Let me see. There we go. There we go, guys. Sorry it took so long. Like I say, so you don't have to have. So I got a forest in there. Forest in there in my, and I got it set up for a success. But yeah, I didn't have it binded, partners. Yep, sorry. Sorry for that. 
blooper. Oops, but I'm gonna post this video anyway. Uh, but yeah, see, I'm showing 15.5, man. Yeah, and that's in real time. Yeah, I did it. It'll, it'll, it'll actually pull it and you can see your battery coming down when you're giving it free gas. Yeah. yeah. So what I normally do, guys, I cut that, I cut that ground wire off because you don't have to have it at all, man. Yeah. So you, you don't have to have it. it ain't making a difference. This thing, it's already grounded. And I drop a little hot glue over that. Yeah, Cause I can't, I can't pull that out. If it was a normal JXT or whatever, I would pull it. I would just pull the whole thing out. Yeah. But that's what you got, partner. That's it, man. And uh, right now I got the gyro on. And like I say, man, you put some 3M tape on that. 3M tape, man, or hot glue it. It don't need to move at all. And if your gyro and your ass end going to the right, if your wheels ain't turning to the right, your gyro ain't right, man. All you got to do is go in here and you hit it. You hit that button in there, I think, two more times. It'll change color because what you want is red. Actually, I need to do that now. Yeah, what you want is red. You want it to be red. And like I was saying before, man, your, that gyro is real sensitive. You got to turn it way down, man. Yeah, you got to turn it way down for it to work properly. Because if you don't, man, you go down the street. It might be good for bashing and just clowning in short distance. If you go down the street, your car ass ain't going to be wiggling, man. You got to turn it. It's real sensitive. You got to. My setting is around anywhere from 18 to 20. I mean, you got to turn it way down. And you will barely see those wheels move. See, right now, it's mine. It's not right. So I got to go in and. I got to go in and uh, reverse it, make my wheels go the other way, plus it's purple. Uh, but like I say, man, it, see if you put that, put it on, uh, you put it on Velcro, that Velcro allows this thing to move a little bit, and that's all it needs to do to not work right. Yeah, it's got to be, and I keep saying this part because it's really important. Some people give up on them gyros because they don't have them set up right. Or they have the wheels going the wrong way. But that gyro is the truth. Trust me. You set it up right. Make sure it's completely steel to the car. Because it's got to do exactly what the car doing, man. Work properly. Anyway, guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace. I just wanted to share that a little bit with y'all. Share or like or whatever. Be appreciated too, man. And uh, like I said before, partner, y'all. You can... Message me, man. It might take me a minute, but I'm going to answer it. And I don't know everything. Don't, don't think I know everything. I know a little bit. But I'll, I'll let you know and give you an honest answer. That's for sure. That's what made me start doing videos, man. I was looking at videos and see how guys be covering up gears and all that shit. I'm like, hell no. Nah. I mean, I know a little bit. I share what I know, you know. So, anyway, guys, y'all have a blessed day, man. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.